All right, here it is, the MD600N. N standing for no tar because it has no tail rotor. So this has been a long time dream of mine. I mean, so much so that I painted my MD500E with the same scheme as a full size uh, 600. So, but this thing is massive, heavy, loud, and awesome. <laughs> the damn thing weighs 44 and a half pounds as it sits right now, ready to fly. Full tank of gas, and a set of full batteries. Taylor built this up and got it flying because apparently they don't come with like all the guts of the Notar. He had to make it. Or maybe he did, but then he made it himself. It's all out of carbon fiber and it works. He put a Yakodovsky uh, turbine engine in here with Yakodovsky mechanics. We got a Mezzan. 130 ESC for the ducted fan. And we stick at least 6,000 milliamps of packs. And the last flight I did, I had 10,000 milliamps. I put three batteries up here and one battery back there. It also has a battery for the turbine and all that good stuff. So it's kind of in a, just let's see if it will fly type state right now. Um, Jetty CB200, uh, Bavarian Demon 3X. Here is your EDF, which is blowing air down this tube. And then you have a servo way back here, and it's five feet from this servo to the CB200 all the way up in the front. So we're going to do some we're going to put some big wire to get from there to here without any servo loss. But I flew it today and I didn't notice anything. So but what this has is this has this big rotating disc that's going to open and close uh, this port. So what it does is the EDF fills this all up with air and then this directs out and not not directly out, but it's kind of at an angle. This blows out. And on the full size, which we are going to do on this one as well, they use the Kawanda effect where there are slots from here all the way to here on the tail. There's one about right here, and then there's one down on this side. And what that does is that uses the downwash off the main rotor as it comes down those slots direct air hugging it right up against the boom and what that does is that creates a low pressure on this side creating lift that way so it actually counteracts the torque in that direction and on the full size that is 80 percent of the anti-torque produced keep this thing from spinning around all the notars have it they have two slots all the way down here in the uh the 600 the 520 and the 900 and 902 so that was going to be the next little project on this i did get it flying it sucks because that edf sucks up 1400 milliamps per minute. So I don't get much time out of a 6,000 milliamp 12S system on here. So that is the big drawback. I can I can fly three times with the turbine jet fuel <laughs> on with that for right now. So we're gonna get some some big packs. This thing is pumping out at about between a hundred and 20 and 130 amps in a hover out of ground effect. It's quite large. It's quite heavy, <laughs> but it is kick ass. So there be the new project for Northwest Scale Works. It's 87 inches long from the tip of the nose to the tip of the tail, 87 inches. If I add on the length of the 
rotor on the front, it's 98 inches long. 98 inches long! Holy crap! It's also 28 inches tall and 28 inches wide. Because you've seen I've got to have to do the thing on here. But I'd like to do bucket work, but at 44 pounds, I don't think another 12 pounds of water is going to help. So this might just be a fly it around because it's freaking cool. There we go. The new project, 2022 MD600N. I'm building something.